Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll see how to fix the airdrop fail, insufficient storage, but I have a storage. So let's get started. Solution number one, check the device storage. Go to the settings on your iPhone. Tap on general, select iPhone storage. Check the available storage space. Solution number two is restart your iPhone. Press and hold the side button or the top button until the slider appears. Drag the slider to power off your iPhone. After your iPhone is off, press and hold the side button or top button again until the Apple logo appears. Solution number three is transfer files individually. Send files individually rather than in bulk even if it is just two photos or videos. This method has been reported to work when transferring the files one by one. The solution number four is check screen time restrictions. Go to the settings, screen time, content, and the privacy, privacy restrictions. Allow app, airdrop, and enable it. If contact only is turned on, add the Apple ID to the sending device to the list of contacts and on the receiving device. Solution number five is prepare the devices for airdrop. Ensure both the devices are within the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi range with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. Disable the personal hotspot. If active on either device, if the recipient has the airdrop set to receive from the contacts only, ensure your email address or the mobile number is in their contacts card. If you are not there in their contact, ask them to reset the airdrop to receive from the everyone temporarily for the transfer. Adjust your airdrop receiving settings, contacts only or receiving off as needed to manage who can send you content via a ROM. and the contact and the solution number six is contact the apple support team if you have tried all other troubleshooting methods but still if you're facing the problem you can contact or reach out to the apple support team for further assistance they have the expertise they will help you to fix the problem and they give you the better solution okay so you can contact them for further assistance, provide the detailed information about the issue, including the specific error message, steps you have taken to troubleshoot and any relevant device information. Follow the guidance provided by the Apple support team to resolve the airdrop issue. Okay. So that's all about this particular video, guys. I hope you like this particular video. Please just subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you all. Thank you. Bye.